I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Gilly is not backing down from Birdman. After going off on Birdman early in this week, Gilly is now doubling down and saying, yo, you're living in the past. What are you really doing right now? Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It looks like this issue has been bothering Gilly for a while. He's once again addressing Birdman after Birdman dissed him on Clubhouse. Not only that, but looks like Philly is riding with Gilly hard. Gilly was on Instagram live this morning. A couple guys from Philly checked in with Gilly, told them that we're rocking with you if Birdman Birdman ever want smoke. Here's a video. I don't need nobody to get Birdman for me, man. I know Birdman. It ain't just about you. This about Philly, baby. You get me? You call the king. You the king of Philly, so we rocking. This how we rocking. Let me tell you something. When you know a nigga and you know a nigga ain't going to never a nigga a nigga ain't no ain't ain't what they say they is. It ain't no need to do none of that. Right? Because one thing's for sure, two things are certain. The nigga know I'm everything I say I am. We so, and I know that he that he's not nothing that he say he is. So I gotta I gotta I gotta, I gotta I had to check myself and say, why the fuck is you responding to this bust ass niggas man? At, 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 at your age, man. Kind of shit down, Gilly, that man. Nigga when waited you twenty five years though. When you was young and you was active, nobody never wanted nothing with you. They were saying you was crazy. Don't, 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 don't fuck with you. Leave you alone. Now, can, now I'm out here. Can I ask you a real, can I ask you a question, though, Gil? Because this, this some facts that we all know. We, you did right for Wayne. We all know that. Like we, like but the listen, world knows. I don't even like bringing the Wayne into that because Wayne ain't got nothing to do with that. Wayne. I'm just, I, I just shit. wanted to bring that up because he denied this shit. Got out, out the little, little Wayne, man. He minding his business. He ain't got nothing to do with that shit. Wayne's no way spending his money. Yeah, you know I mean, he doing tried what to he deny it. That shit though. It don't even matter. I ain't, I ain't on that. I ain't on that old shit. That's old shit, man. But you know, I'm not no old nigga who life was a throwback Thursday, man. Respect. A lot of these old niggas. A lot of these old niggas. They hate me and Wallow because they like the throwback Thursday, man. They got to talk about the shit they used to do. We talk about the shit we doing now, man. No, we we not we not talk about them. No, we them niggas now, right Stupid. now. Facts, facts. About a motherfucking Range Rover I had in 2004 and all that shit. I ain't talking about the stats I put up in 2002 and all that shit. I'm talking about what is you doing now, nigga? Oh, so you talking about Prime? You talking about a million I worth of I'm game. talking, I'm talking, talking about, about what like is you that. doing now? I'm talking about, and then I can't go back and forth with niggas who don't got nobody that love them. I got a whole family out here, man. My family love me, man. 90% of these niggas in the world that give up a right pinky toe to have what I got, man. These niggas homies don't, don't love them. They family don't love them. These niggas really be out here on the island by themselves. All they got is some money. They ain't, right. they ain't, they ain't got no support. All they got is because, because everybody you ever dealt with, you did dirty. So God ain't, ain't even in your favor. All you got is money. When you got money, that don't mean God in your favor. There's a bunch of niggas out here with money that ain't happy. I was happy when I didn't have no money. But right. I can't say I didn't have no money when I didn't have a shitload of money. This millionaires committing this millionaires committing suicide. I always had some paper, nigga. <laughs> it's yeah, most, I, I remember the hundred and eighty carat kid. Of it is, most of these rich ass niggas, they miserable. Cause they can't even do nothing. And most of them is scary as shit. Most of ninety percent of them rich and scary. Oh my god, we can't go down there. Oh no, we can't do this. Oh no, I can't do that. I can't do that. I, I hang by myself when I go where the fuck I want to go. With no security. And everybody know I got money, nigga. Ain't no secret. And and, and I don't leave with money. Every day you see me, I got a black Nike sweatsuit on or a great Nike sweatsuit. Look out for the hood. So at the end of the day, you know, I well, I, I just want to listen. This, this is why I want to say. I want to give you your flowers, man. My, first and foremost, I didn't get to talk to you personally, so I want to get my condolences to you and your family. I mean, long live cheese. I want to give you that first and foremost. I want to let you know the only reason why I roasted you. Oh, well, yeah. I, I can't. You can't even put no energy into that shit, man. Well, I, I was to say on some real shit. I ain't got nothing but time and energy. You feel me? You ain't got to say now. My name been a bunch of niggas mouths. That's a bunch shame. of niggas, a bunch of niggas hurt because they thought I'd be doing security at Ross right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so 
know, rumble me. Dan kid, get your weight up. He ain't doing no security at Raw. thought I'd be doing security. Now, I gotta also be fair. As far as him writing for Lil Wayne, as you guys just heard, Gilly had a chance to clear everything up just by saying yes. The guy asked him a question. Yo, you wrote for Wayne, right? Gilly said, eh, I'm not even going to give that any energy. I don't want to bring Wayne into this. That's kind of been the main topic of discussion. Gilly claims he wrote for Wayne. Birdman went on Clubhouse to deny it. I know he has a lot of respect for Wayne. Doesn't want to drag his name into this, but could have just nodded yes and just kept it moving. Either way, tell me what you guys think about what Gilly said. Post your comments below. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys later.